IndyCar debut. He's got the speed, he's got the skill, but perhaps Pietro's X factor is that he's also an incredibly versatile driver, having started out his racing career in NASCAR's Wheel in All American series before moving to Europe to pursue a career in open wheeled racing. After winning last year's Formula V8 championship, this year Pietro was scheduled to contest in not one, not two, but three high-level racing series. His 2018 calendar included part seasons in Japan's Super Formula Championship, WEC, as well as this year's Verizon IndyCar series. So rumor has it you've been having some Formula One talks with the Haas F1 team. How, what was said? How far along were those talks and how has your accident affected that? I had a meeting with, with Gunther a couple months back and we were definitely uh, talking before the accident. He called me, um, sent me a couple messages after after the accident. He was very supportive, so I can't thank him enough for that. And uh, we're we're still talking. I mean, the main focus now is just me getting getting better, um, so I can get back in the car as soon as possible. And then after that, uh, anything can happen. Um, and uh, but we're definitely uh, still talking. But he said, you know, just focus now on getting getting back in the car. Have you spoken or has any other Formula One team reached out to you in the last couple of weeks? No, at the moment I was just focused on, you know, my IndyCar season. We were speaking to, to Haas and w with Gunther, uh, but at the moment it's, it's only been them and now my focus is just getting back in the car, doing those last five IndyCar races and let's see what happens after that. Pietro is scheduled to be back up and racing in about eight to 10 weeks. Until then, we wish him a speedy recovery. I'm Julia Piquet and see you next time on Motorsport Reports.